Hello there, glad to have you back on here, Dreams TV on Quest Free Sports. You know how we do it. Your week is definitely not complete without a weekly dose of Dreams TV on KFS. And on this particular program, you know, we try to give you every single update about Dreams FC, not necessarily on the pitch, sometimes behind the scenes uh, in moments that you need to catch up with. My name is Derek Okeko. Now, coming up on this particular edition, we have our partnership that we signed with Robs from Finland, and then also we participated in the Ghana Half Talent. 2018 edition uh, so you stick and stay with us we we'll do our first commercial break when we come back all the excitement and fun happens right here on dreams tv So we get started now. Guess what? Uh, we had a three-year partnership uh, signing agreement with a club from Finland by name Palisari Rovaniemi, uh, uh, our executive chairman and president Mohamed Jalipo. There are two representatives who received the visitors and did the signing on our behalf. They were in Ghana for three days uh, uh, from Thursday night. Now we'll take you through the moments that they were here from the arrival at the Kutuka International Airport before they lodged at the Pedrasi Valley Resort. We had good packages from them big ups to to them I, I must commend their services but we had a three-day scouting tournament also for them to see at first and the sort of talent that we do have in Ghana not just a dreams FC vision football club to the mighty jets a host of other uh, Premier League and then uh, lower division sites who participated in that particular tournament and then also um, they came to our secretariat so I'll take you briefly into those moments and then uh, we also have a tete a tete, I mean a video uh, interview that we had with their chairman um, while he was here before the signing ceremony and then also after their manager Tony Koskla uh, who also spoke to Dreams TV after the signing of the partnership. So let's see all those moments and the signing agreement between Dreams FC of Ghana and then Robs from Finland. People are so nice and helpful and polite and, and food is excellent and and also football what, what is common for us and, and for people here in Accra that everybody loves football, football and that is also very important. Football is a global game and and, and the people here in Ghana, I met your, your club chairman in Europe some months ago and then he make some kind of impression for me and of course most important thing why we came here is that we wanted to see people who are behind of that club because without people this club is nothing or any any kind of club the individuals individuals yes and and then of course when we met your chairman and your president and all other staff people uh, we were impressed that how commitment they were to develop dreams FC and, and how how commitment they were also to find some kind of cooperation which helps both clubs in, in near future and, and I'm, I'm really hoping that we have a good long-term cooperation with dreams FC and, and but if people behind the clubs those are the most important things and then of course it is so important to see them have enough time to discuss with them and understand how they think about the mindset behind the business yeah yeah that is so so important even though the culture in europe and culture in, in ghana is totally different but people are the same kind of your players what you have here they are very athlete they are very strong they are fast and then they are physically they are in very very excellent fit but but what we have better in, in Finland than in Europe is that that we be, maybe we understand more about tactic how to play as a team and I think that that if we can get some of your players to Europe we can develop them how to play more for the team 
and, and, and understand more about, about nowadays football, how they play in Europe, because the, Europe is the highest football area, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the quality in Europe is excellent. So, 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 so I think that we can improve them a lot, and, and that is important for us. And somehow I see that Finland is just the first gate to the Europe, because as you mentioned, uh, Finnish quality of football is not the highest in Europe. People here in Ghana, everybody wants to play football, everybody is so good uh, fit and that is important for us. Uh, but I think that we can teach how, how to understand the game more and, and that you are just not the individual, that you are part of the team and so on. And after they have been in our club one, two, three years, it is much more easier to go to a higher level. Eventually, both clubs are hoping to to uh, make profit. I mean, even apart from the development, there's there's a need for economic development for both clubs. The long-term plan. Do you think that partnering Dreams FC is a fruitful venture? Yeah, sure, of course, because somehow I think that also we can help Dreams FC in many other ways also because because we have what we have there in Finland about I mean in infrastructure and, and, yeah. and that kind of culture which is yeah. different so we can give also that kind of help and, and all kind of technical help also. So so but of course it is business for both teams and then both teams want to do that kind of business that we can sell players to the bigger teams. In, in near future and, and, and I think that, that is goal what we both clubs agreed. Nowadays you have a Finnish coach here who has been a coach as, as a Finnish yes. league. So he understands what kind of players we need also and he understands the quality of Finnish league. And because Paso is here, it is much easier to work with, with, with you yes. also. Okay. Yeah, because he can help us all. He knows what the market in, 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 in Finland wants. Yeah. Apart from the, the, the executive chairman and the president, uh, what other things convinced you when you came that uh, this club mean business or they know what they're doing? All people who I have met because, for example, press people and, and, and how, how commitment you are also to do this work. And, and, and when we negotiated, negotiated yesterday and then we made some kind of notes, what we agreed and, and what we discussed. And, and after I got it, those notes, it was so well and, and done and, and so on. So I think that all people and, and that passion, what I have seen, that is so important. Ten times I stay for DC. Ten times the body they see me. I know the base cause I know the TV. When nothing, nothing they bother me at all. Ten times I stay for sprint text. Your first time in Africa. Yeah, first time in Africa. Your first time in Ghana, obviously. Yeah. What motivated you to take this step? Because uh, no one just wakes up and says, I'm going to Africa. <laughs> no, we, uh, we met uh, with uh, with Paso in, uh, in Finland, Finland, and uh, we've been also looking for, for uh, what's, how, to, how to put it... Uh, uh, new talents. New, yeah, new talents, and uh, especially from the from, uh, Africa region, and, uh, and to get to get a part that you can trust. and, uh, and uh, players that come from uh, from certain certain uh, environments so okay before i even zoom into the main activity you did here how how do you see ghana you've been in ghana for three days spent three nights here your impressions so far uh, very busy very busy a lot of a lot of people in accra a lot of cars in accra i think uh, we've seen a lot of traffic and uh, yeah but nice nice place nice place and the people uh, with the entire uh, yeah, the food yeah yeah people very nice and uh, and uh, Food is very nice and uh, yeah. All right, you spoke about uh, meeting Paso and then uh, finding new players. What do you find particularly uh, with African players that you need for your team? 
Well, uh, I think the main thing, main thing for us is that uh, we lack certain type of players, and uh, especially in Africa and, and, and of course uh, Ghana, Ghana particularly, there are a lot of players with uh, completely different physical abilities than, than, than a regular Finnish player, for, for example. So, uh, of course, we are always interested in good players, but uh, we are especially interested in play, types of players that are profile of the players that we don't have in, in Finland. You spent three uh, three days. Uh, you watched a total of eight games, seven games uh, uh, that was played at the park at the tournament. Did you see anything? I, I mean, do we have reasons to be excited that you are satisfied with what you saw uh, during these matches? Yeah, there were a lot of interesting players with interesting qualities, and uh, that was, of course, the main thing that I was I was watching, seeing, seeing the players, players, of course, uh, mainly for the for the positions that we are looking for, and mainly mainly for the player types that we are looking for. But uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of players with uh, a lot of uh, talent. No, I, I, I checked and uh, I know for a fact that your team is second uh, on the big lot in Finland. Um, does it put any pressure on the demands uh, that your team needs as of now in terms of the standard of the quality that you are looking to pick from this from this place? Yeah, of, of course, of course, but but also uh, we are not looking for right now. Yeah, yeah we, we are looking for next season and uh, and maybe maybe even further for. Uh, but not not if we are not looking for immediate immediate you know player player who's gonna be top top top, top straight top. away. We know that it, it will need adjusting to Europe in a uh, diff, different culture with different uh, different climate, for example. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a big difference. So uh, and different type of football as well. But uh, like I said, a lot of uh, players with a lot of talent. Do we have reasons to believe that uh, the fact that Paso is our coach uh, makes you feel confident in the type of uh, talent that are developing, pro probably transferred to your team? In the yes, and of course, it, it's also helpful when Paso knows exactly what's the level in Finland and what kind of players are, you know, able to do well in Finland. And uh, of course, we we all look, look for players that we can. Uh, Sell later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Later on, so that that helps a lot. That Paso, Paso knows that as well. Uh, how is it blending uh, the the one side of the business in terms of developing talent and winning games and achieving results for the team? Because I, your team founded way back 1958, uh, if I'm not wrong. But how is it one thing developing these talents to achieve laurels for the team? And then also, of course, there's business where we intend to later on transfer the players from Finland to the wider market in, in Europe. No, I don't think developing players and develop, developing the team is, is not in the you know, in, 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 in fight between the between winning the games, we can do the both both at the same time. And let's let's face it, the Finnish league is that is for still developing players for the bigger leagues and uh, so we have to we have to be able to do that and at the same time. Few the two of them. Okay. Now let me ask you, with what you've seen do you feel that uh, Paso has brought some knowledge from Finland and it's working for him here? Yeah, I think... Uh, what did you see with the team, uh, the Dreams FC in particular? Uh, well, when I came here I didn't have uh, too, too, too many expectations. I was quite uh, open-minded. That I, I, uh, But I think the structure of the game was more clear than I expected, for example. So, so for, for sure there's, the, there's some image of the coach from Europe for sure. So that's to say that you've seen that, uh, you, you can see the handwork of, of, of a foreign or of Paso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With you particularly, uh, player development, what do you see are the specific attributes of players that you saw today in, 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 uh, at the match? Mm, the physical abilities are just uh, well, completely different from what you have in Yeah, Finland. yeah. The, uh, like athleticism is, uh, is very high standards. Okay, and um, in terms of placement uh, in the future for the players when they come, development for them, uh, nurturing for them, what's going to be the procedure and the, and the standards that you have at uh, Ropes? Mm, I'm not sure, if, but if I, if I understand right the things that the, the players must improve, uh, if you ask, ask that, uh, yeah, for sure that's the tactical part of uh, playing as a uh, in a, in a collective team unit, I think that's the that's the main uh, main. They can do a lot of things with the ball. They have uh, fantastic physical abilities, and uh, then we we must must drill them into the European style of football, which is a bit more tactical tactical and uh, than compared to, to to here.
so just gone by was a partnership signing with uh, Rops from Finland and one member of Dreams Football Club who was very key in making sure all this happened even before our executive chairman stepped in Finland to uh, have this sort of conversation at the beginning foundation of the discussion was manager Pasoa. Now he spoke to us also on what he makes of this partnership uh, signing and then what he expects uh, of it to come. Also don't forget he's on vacation so before leaving the shores of Ghana he spoke to us about what he's been able to do with the team so far and then what is expected of the new talents that he's been able to assemble for the club. I think that uh, it's it's a great uh, opportunity for both clubs uh, to to start this relationship. And, uh, of course, it's nice for me that it's uh, from Finland and I know those people and I know the Finnish football. So, so it's uh, it's in a both ways it's easier for us to work together. If they if they want to ask about some players, I can easily answer that. Uh, are they are they the right players to Finland? They were, they were impressed uh, how uh, organized we were as a team and also as a club, but especially as a team because the, everyone in Finland and Scandinavia they are thinking that uh, the football here is more individual and not so much uh, team teamwork. Very satisfied how the uh, players were, were performing in, uh, in the games and they were improving in all the games and every day and uh, like today. Even if they were tired, they played there and they tried and they gave everything on the field. I, I believe that when we are doing the right things in the trainings, it, it's also coming to the games and, uh, and we get the good results. <laughs> So we need to move on by if you just joined us you can log on to our social media handles on facebook dreams football club on twitter dreams football c instagram and on snapchat dreams fc gh you can log on to our youtube account as dreams football club to get previous episodes of this uh, program and then also this one particularly will also be uploaded shortly right after you watch it on kfs so uh, log on be be part of the fun be part of uh, the activities on here uh, get updated every moment uh, on our handles um, but while we move on, we go to Tema, and that was at the Ghana Hustle in 2018 tournament hosted by Inter Allies. Now, uh, we participated, our senior squad was part two key games against Liberty Professionals and then also against Almina Sharks at the same venue. And then also we had our junior squad, uh, still believe FC, participating uh, on, the final, on the third and final day of that particular tournament. Let's see uh, the games, the highlights from the games we played. Enjoy.
just joined us, you're still live on Dreams TV on Quest of Free Sports. Uh, just gone by was our participation at the Ghana Half Talent 2018, hosted by Inter Allies. Two key games for the senior squad. Also, uh, we started off with Rob's partnership. Three years. First of its kind for the club. And we're hoping that partnerships of this nature will be uh, beneficial to the club. In fact, for both parties, uh, where we'll be having exchanges uh, also for staff, not just players. And then probably in the future, we might have some sort of infrastructure uh, development for the club right here in Ghana. So we move on now. Abdul Samed is a defender of Still Believe FC, who was a member of the Ghana National U17 team that participated in the Waffle Zone B tournament that was hosted in Niger. Uh, we placed second. There was only one slot available for the qualification to the African Youth Championship. Then subsequently, uh, there was a chance to progress to the World Cup to represent the continent on the World Cup. Um, Abdul Karim Zito, he was the manager in charge of that particular team. He's the technical director of Dreams FC. Both members were representatives for us at that particular tournament, uh, part of the contingent. Unfortunately, we failed to make it high, but he was at the office to present his medal that he won. He was a silver medalist in that competition and management, as you are seeing on your screens, management received him and of course, uh, we always want our players to believe that everything is going to get better. Hard luck for them not to make it through this tournament, to make it to Africa and then hopefully into the World Cup. But great talent, best of luck for Baba Samed in the coming uh, tournament. Uh, great, great future for the young chap. We wish him the very best. Uh, time for the dreams and a casual scouting train uh, our scouts will be all over the country uh, specific locations concurrently to identify super talents to be brought back to a crowd uh, for the club to groom and nurture to world stars if a football club whether it's a division one division two division three or you have talents that you want to be seen and identified by our scouts to make sure that you are these locations that I'll be giving you for you to stand a chance of being selected by dreams football club scouts and coordinators who are across these locations that I'll be giving out uh, started this afternoon, uh, Baku School Park, Cape Coast at the school park, that was on the 20th uh, today. Tomorrow, Baku School Park, day two, Anaji in Takaradi, uh, Tichiman is the Paku Park. And then Kumasi Police Park uh, on the 21st of September, that's tomorrow. On Saturday, Abuabo number one, school park in the Ashanti region, Kumasi of course, Tamale. The Tamasco Park and then whole sports stadium in the Volta region. Take them again tomorrow. Baku School Park, Takrade is the Anaji Park, uh, Tichiman Paco Park, Police Park also in Kumasi in the Ashanti region. Ababo number one school park on Saturday. Tamale Tamasco also on Saturday, then whole sports stadium on Saturday. <laughs> All too soon we have to wrap up uh, it's been exciting having you uh, 30 minutes on dreams tv on kfs uh, i hope i hope you enjoyed it i did too catch us same time same channel next week but do stay interactive with us on our social media handles on facebook as displayed on your screens uh, snapchat and on instagram you know the handles uh, the previous episodes and this one in particular available on our youtube channel as always you stop dreaming while you stop believing my name is Derek Greco until then still believe <laughs>